Hi everybody, in this video I want to make a mathematical connection between the area vector for a particular area and a positive direction to go around the perimeter. All right, so remember that if I have some area, the area vector is taken to be perpendicular to the plane of that area. So I could take this direction or I could take that direction. Which direction do I take? Doesn't matter, pick one. But once I pick a pause, once I pick a direction for my area vector, that constrains, that chooses in effect a direction that's positive for going around the perimeter. Or turning it around, if I've chosen a positive direction to go around the perimeter, that constrains my choice of area vector. So let's see how that works. The relationship is actually a right hand rule relationship. So I started by talking about the area vector, but let me change things up and start with the perimeter. So imagine I've got an x, y, z coordinate system, right-handed coordinate system. Imagine I have an area uh, that the plane of the area is oriented in the x, y plane. Okay, so the z axis is perpendicular to the plane of the area. If I go around the perimeter this way, if I call this my positive pathway around the perimeter, then to get my area vector direction, I curl my fingers of my right hand in the direction that I'm traversing the perimeter, and my thumb will point in the perpendicular direction uh, for the area vector. All right, so if I have this area in general, I could choose in or out as my area vector, but once I set the perimeter, once I decide I want to go around the perimeter this way and call that my positive path around the perimeter, then the area vector has to be out. So in this case, the area vector would be in the z direction. All right, same physical area, but now let me imagine going around the path the other way. So now I want to take this as my positive path around the area. All right, so take my right hand, curl my fingers in the direction of the path around the perimeter. My thumb will point in the direction of the area vector. My area vector is now into the board, or in terms of my coordinate system, my area vector is in the negative z hat direction. Great, so let's look at a couple more. I'm gonna orient this a little differently. I'm gonna take an x, y, z coordinate system z, x, y, so it's another right-handed coordinate system. It's just sort of drawn in this three-dimensional picture. If I traverse the path around this perimeter this way, I curl my fingers in that direction, uh, my thumb points in the direction, this is from my right hand again, in the direction of the area vector, so my area vector will be in the positive y direction, or if I wanna think in terms of my normal, my unit normal vector, normal unit vector, my normal unit vector corresponding to this area, and this pathway around that area would be the y hat direction. On the other hand, if I go the other way around this uh, pathway, so there's the back, there's the front, curl my fingers around, uh, go around, this way around that path with my fingers, my thumb points in the direction of the area vector, again, using my right hand, because if you use your left hand, you'll get it all backwards. Uh, the area vector is in the negative y direction in this coordinate system, uh, or uh, you could talk about the unit normal vector being in the negative y direction. All right, so, this gives you a very precise mathematical definition. In many cases, you know, you don't care about the perimeter, but in many applications, there's a relationship, especially if you're talking about physical laws that are expressed in terms of mathematics. There may be some physical parameters in your problem that correspond to the area vector direction. There may be other physical parameters that correspond to the pathway around the perimeter. Uh, one of the most important applications of that is in Faraday's law, uh, and we'll get to that in another video. Thank you.